Okay, for the song, you're going to have the capo on the um, third fret. So there's a the little, the intro part there. I'm going to strum a C chord. Then we have these pull-offs. So we're going to make our C chord there. Strum through the strings. I'm going to go to the D string first fret, pull off, and then we're going to come to the third fret on the B string and pull off to one. And then we pick the B string again and then pick the G string. So there's our next move. Gonna make this F chord. You can make a full F if you want, but you can use your thumb to um, fret the first fret on the E string. I think he just uses the middle four strings. So we're gonna use the third fret on A, third fret on D, second fret on G, first fret B. So from the start. I'm going to strum through the, the A, D and G string and I'm going to hammer on from the open the G string to the 2nd fret. And then pick the B string 1st fret. So we go from C, F, pick the B string, and then we do the hammer on again in the F position. And we have this um, arpeggio, so we're going to pick the first fret B string, second fret G, first fret B, second fret G, third fret D, third fret A. And then back to the C chord. We'll play through that again slowly. So uh, that covers the intro. Now the uh, the verse section. We're also going to go between two chords, C and F again. I'm only going to be using the A, D, G, and B string. Just a transition between the two chords. So, so each time he plays it, there's four times round of C and F. Slightly different each time, but the um, the idea is just going between the C and F chord. So for the first example, I'll say I'm going to strum through the C chord, then pick the B string, G and D. Then you're going to pick the A and D string together on the, both on the third fret, and then pick that um, second fret G, and do a hammer on. And then back to C. And then just repeat that. So that's all you're doing, going between C and F. And then for this last section, we're going to have um, C. So this um, sort of like a, a G chord, but we're just going to play part, part of the G. So we're going to do A, D and G strings, 3rd fret A, 2nd fret D, open G, and then open A, and then this chord here. So it's just going to be the 2nd fret of A, open D, and open G. Then we'll come to this F triad, triad. 
So that's third fret F, uh, third fret D, second fret G, third fret B, and then back to C. And he just does a little B, G, B. Then we have this little C chord again, then the G chord, then A. So that's open A, second fret D, second fret G, and then a full F chord. But I think he misses out the high E string. And then we go back to our C position. So after the full F chord, make a C chord. Um, I'm going to pick the A string, followed by the G, B, back to G, D string. And then I'm going to make the F shape. So this time it's um, first fret E, first fret B, second fret G, third fret D. I'm just going to pick through each each string. first fret on the B string and then we're going to strum that chord again and then hammer onto the first fret and B and that covers the whole song. <laughs> 